Hello everyone, Bill C-233, the sex selective abortion bill is up for debate in the House of Commons next week. Pastors share their concerns for their ministry that is posed by Bill C-6, which bans conversion therapy. Tomorrow, a discussion for those in the Maritimes on Bill C-6 and what can be done about it there. And next week, a similar discussion for those in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. And finally, we have been asked so many times to bring it back, and now we are. It's ARPA's merch store. It's Wednesday, April 7th, and this is Quick Updates. Bill C-233 will be debated in the House of Commons. Here's Tabitha. Thanks, Colin. Next week is a very exciting week, as it'll be the first time in about 15 years that Parliament will be debating a bill that would restrict abortion. Bill C-233, the Sex Selective Abortion Act, is going to come up for debate, and it's a really exciting time for us to have the pro-life message put forward in Parliament. So take some time this week to reach out to your MP. Uh, you can send them a simple mail by going to weneedalaw.ca or find other ways to support the bill by going to defendgirls.com. You'll hear more from us next week on how it all goes, but for the time being, keep this as a matter of prayer as well. Back to you, Colin. Thanks, Tabitha. Bill C-6 is still on our radar and could be debated in the House next week as well. Here is Mike with more. Bill C-6, an act to amend the criminal code regarding conversion therapy, is set to come back into the House of Commons next week and be debated by members of Parliament. And in advance of that, ARPA Canada has spoken to a number of Reformed pastors and other pastors across the country, um, just asking them how concerned they are and why they are concerned about Bill C C-6 and really how it's going to impact their ministry. Uh, we have for you uh, in this video, Pastor Paul Dirks. Paul Dirks is the pastor of the New West Community Church, and he has been very much following this topic of gender and sexuality conversion therapy bans for the past number of years. He even presented to our Canadian Senate on Bill C-16. That was a bill that added gender identity and gender expression to the Human Rights Code. Pastor Paul Dirks is going to share with us why he's concerned about Bill C-6 and how it's going to impact his role as a pastor in New West. Yeah, thanks, Mike. You're, you're talking about the vulnerable that need access to godly counselors and to, to the truth of God's word. This, there's some really scary things going on here. And if this passes, I fully expect that I will be um, ticketed or in jail within five years. And so I, I think that, I think Christian pastors and, and Christians more generally need to wake up and see what's going on. Thank you very much for that, Pastor Paul Dirksen. As you, our listeners and, and viewers can observe, there's much to be concerned about here. And so please watch for ARPA Canada channels in the next few days as we release more of these videos and also put specific action requests to you in regards to this bill as it makes its way back into the House of Commons. Thanks so much, Mike. We're continuing our work to oppose Bill C-6. We're doing what we can to reach out to all our supporters to put pressure on our members of Parliament in the coming weeks as this bill leads up to a vote. We're hosting a call in the Maritimes tomorrow, Thursday, at 8 p.m. Atlantic time. I'm being joined by my colleague Andre Schutten and by Jose Ruba of Free to Care. If you're in the Maritime provinces and would like to join in on that call, send us an email at info at arpacanada.ca and we can send you the link to join. Next week on Tuesday, April 12th at 7.30 Mountain Time, my colleague Ed will be hosting a similar conversation for those in Saskatchewan and Manitoba with Andre and Jose. Again, you can register by sending an email to info at arpacanada.ca. Finally, the ARPA merch store is returning. Here's Elise. Thanks so much, Colin. As you know, Colin, you and I have been receiving many emails the past few months from our ARPA supporters asking for the store, the ARPA store, to be reopened. Uh, it's felt like we've been on the receiving end of the campaign and we are excited to announce finally that we will be opening the store again. It'll only be open for a limited time, so stay tuned. May 1st, the store will be open on our sites. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Elise. That's it for Quick Updates this week. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.